to our Live and On the Go this morning. I'm Melissa Ross. There is always so much happening at the University of North Florida. Incredible research always going on, and we want to share some of it with you right now. Dr. Casey Nicolau, the Harry C. and Olga K. Weiss Professor of Chemistry at Rice University, will speak tonight here at UNF. His research group first synthesized the widely used anti-cancer drug Taxol and a number of other drugs used today for treatment of cancers, leukemia, and others. Dr. Nicolau joins us along with Dr. Christos Lampropoulos, Assistant Professor of Chemistry at UNF. Gentlemen, good morning. Good, good morning, morning, Melissa. Thanks it's for a having us. It's a pleasure to have you on the program today. Uh, Dr. Nicolau, let's begin with you. Can you tell us about this incredibly important research? Um, yes, Melissa, I'm delighted to be on your program. Thank you very much for inviting us here today with you. Um, our research, uh, well, our mission at the university uh, is really the education of young people into the sciences, and uh, at the same time we carry our research uh, directed mainly against cancer, against the treating the disease of cancer. So, uh, as you mentioned, uh, back in the 1990s, uh, Taxol was a very exciting, it looked like a very exciting drug, but it was very scarce. They would be harvested from the Pacific yew tree from the uh, forests of Oregon and Washington on the uh, West Coast, but uh, it, it, it took uh, hundreds of trees to be sacrificed to treat one patient. So it was a need for the molecule to be synthesized in the laboratory, so uh, we embarked on a program to synthesize it. In 1994, we completed the synthesis, and, um, um, and then since that time, we've been working on other the drug uh, candidates for uh, in collaboration with pharmaceutical companies, biotechnology companies, and today we are um, very excited about a new paradigm uh, to discover such drugs. Um, and namely, we're working on uh, targeted uh, cancer chemotherapy, um, a new type of drug that can be compared to uh, laser-guided missiles to attack cancer cells selectively without damaging the uh, normal cells of the body. So these drugs, uh, they, uh, a couple of them have been uh, approved uh, in the last couple of years, and they look very promising. So there are several new ones now in the uh, um, clinical trials, uh, hope that they will be um, um, approved. Uh, and used by people. So the process involves uh, synthesis of highly toxic compounds which can be uh, found uh, in, the, in nature, like the bottom of the ocean or the forest or the soil, um, and, but they're very scarce. So our mission is to synthesize them because we specialize in uh, making molecules, complex molecules with important biological and medical uh, properties. Uh, we can synthesize these molecules in large amounts in our laboratories and then we give them to uh, experts uh, that can attach them onto antibodies. Antibodies are like delivery systems that can take these uh, toxic compounds to the right place in the body to fight cancer. And um, I think this, this is a new, new way of uh, looking at uh, more selective, more effective drugs against cancer. Dr. Lampropoulos, this sounds like a game changer, quite frankly, when it comes to patient outcomes, cancer patients. Is it? Yeah, it, of course. And uh, Professor Nicolau is um, a, the leading expert. Um, he was uh, at Scripps um, leading a very fruitful department in the golden age of, uh, of Scripps, and he was responsible for the progress um, in the Skaggs Institute and now at Rice uh, in Texas. So we are uh, very grateful to have him. Um, he gave a very inspiring talk yesterday uh, at the chemistry department to all the students. And tonight he will give a more uh, general audience talk at the University Center. Um, and everybody's welcome to join. Um, I want to mention that this would not have been possible without uh, the support of uh, the Dreyfus Foundation um, that gave us this um, uh, very prestigious Boisevain uh, lectureship um, to bring Professor Nicolau over and uh, spend two full days with faculty, with students and staff and administrators. Um, give us tips on funding because that's a big issue with, with our science community. F funding is getting very scarce. Uh, even though we have been uh, pretty successful, we, we got a big NSF grant for, um, uh, for an instrument in the chemistry department uh, in collaboration with physics. But it, again, these, um, these funding rates are dropping so low that um, it's very hard for uh, young, young faculty to attract them and that was a big deal for us 
this lectureship was only awarded to four uh, universities in the nation. And UNF, one of those and select few. Yep. Exciting news. Uh, Dr. Nicola, what else can you share with us about the, the future implications of this research? Patients, of course, uh, will be very excited. Patients dealing with a variety of cancers. Yeah, well, as you know, we are in uh, academia, and therefore we are, we, our mission is dual, is to educate uh, young people into the sciences, and uh, also to uh, set the foundation for drug discovery and development. And as Dr. Lambrobulus mentioned, we need more funding from the government. Uh, in recent years, the funding has not been going up the way it should be. And uh, I think that the health care of the people is obviously a priority for us, as well as education. So um, we are struggling, if you wish, uh, in terms of attracting more funding uh, and in collaboration with industry. Nowadays, the trend is to collaborate with industry because we can take your fundamental discoveries that you make in academia and take them all the way to the patient by um, collaborating with the experts from the pharmaceutical and biotechnology industries and then eventually the clinicians take over to test them into people. So we are very optimistic because we have in place uh, academic industrial partnerships that allow us to take our discoveries all the way to the clinic. And I think that's the new paradigm for, for research in this field. Not too late for people to come hear this incredible spe lecture tonight, correct? Um, yes, there's still room. Uh, we have um, e-tickets. Um, it's part of the Distinguished Voices lecture series of the University of North Florida. So uh, interested people can go to www.unf.edu slash lectures. Uh, and um, there's a free e-ticket and um, they can print it out, come over and um, it would be a very inspiring talk, uh, more of the history of, uh, of uh, drugs and uh, very important molecules for society. Uh, and frankly, uh, synthetic chemistry is an art. And uh, if anyone uh, is an artist around here, that's Professor Nicolau, and he will be able to tell us. Well, it's a pleasure to host you both. Thanks so much for sharing this important research with our listeners. Thank you, and have a great evening uh, uh, tonight here on campus. Thank, Thank you for you having us. We you. were joined by Dr. Casey Nicolau, the Harry C. and Olga K. Weiss Professor of Chemistry at Rice University. Dr. Christos Lampropoulos, Assistant Professor of Chemistry here at UNF. Uh, lots of great talent here on this campus. We're always privileged to share it.